Okay, here we go. Today I'm using a Yu Yang King controller, uh, 120, 150, it's 150 amps, 400 phase amps at 100 volts. 150 amps is 15,000 watts, and to the wheel times 400 amps is uh, 40,000 watts. To the wheel, you're going to get power loss, so that's not a true rating. True rating is uh, 14,000 watts on the meter is what we got, okay? So I'm going to show you how, how I'm wiring this today because, you know, make it a little confusing. So your hall sensors, your QS motors, if it's a V3 and it has two sets of hall plugs, you're only going to use one. I use the colored hall sensors. The extra one, just set it aside. You may need it one day. Who knows? Okay. Your phase wires, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm using this bus bar. So what I do is the, the rings are bigger on the controller. So I take the motor wires and I overlap it. You can see how they're, you know, one's on top of the other. And I'm going to put heat tape over top of that so it doesn't get hot. That's that. Okay, now your three-speed switch, your pink, blue, and black, the black being the wire in the middle. Okay, I put a three on there. So when you do your three-speed switch, a throttle, you put a T. It's pretty easy. Your brake switch or your e-brake switch, when you cut off power, say when you're crossing a highway and you're worried about traffic, you want to hit the kill the e-switch, the kill switch. That disengages the throttle. Okay, so I hit brake. That's labeled there. Um, your alarm, if you're using an alarm, we are today. Uh, it's just the two red connectors here. It's, it's pretty simple, it just plugs right in. Okay, now your key switch. Um, okay, so for this controller here, if you wanna use the alarm, the key fob, or if you wanna use it with your key switch, you just have to bypass the, on the alarm wires, there's a red and an orange wire. I don't know if you can see that, red and orange. I just put, gave myself a key switch here to uh, to bypass that. The key is a B plus loop. When you turn the key, it just it connects this here. It's a loop, and um, the the live wire is the red one, and the um, orange one is the switch. So the live wire is going to be yellow, and the switch is going to be blue on the throttle side. Okay. Now, if you're running a DC for your lights, which everybody does, um, okay, here's what you do. So this is the power wire off the controller. It's a thin red wire, but it's a little bit thicker, okay? It says power right on there, okay? You're gonna go um, red to red. You're gonna solder that, clip that off, okay? Now, your black wire is shared for um, your, your full volts and your, uh, um, DC lights and stuff, whatnot. Um, this is your, your charger plug. This also goes into your battery. See, I, I spliced an extra black wire so I can share it to the DC box. I'm also gonna run two more connectors for DC 12 volts for lights or accessories, whatnot, okay? And then this is your, this is gonna be your 12 volt. And I'll, I'll put two lines so you can run, you know, lights, if you want headlights, if you want, Ground effects lights, that's fine. That's what I do it. And uh, and for this here, I have a hole on the other side. It's just gonna it's gonna pull through and the charger port is gonna mount in the panel. But you'll see that on the pictures on my blakes. So when you plug it in. Okay. Um now the battery. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have a pigtail, a matching pigtail for the battery that I'm using. Alright, and so that one is going to be the black and the red, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip them back and I'm just going to crimp them. Of course, you know, black to black, red to red. So that'll be my pigtail. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I think it's pretty simple. Really don't know what else there is to talk about on it. Have fun. Enjoy. Probably the first video I did about wiring a Yu Yang King controller. And there we are today. All right. Stay safe out there.